Body W204 in 2007 had the mission to erase the sediment left over from its predecessor. Many of the shortcomings of the manufacturer really managed to eliminate. But the front line of this car is so long that it's impossible to embrace everything. The W204 quickly became popular, helped by its serious appearance and excellent driving characteristics. Even today, when pre-styling copies, until 2011, enter adulthood, their popularity in the secondary market can only be envied. Despite the rather expensive operation and average reliability, they store money well, remaining quite liquid. The main problem of choice is the variety of motors, in which we, albeit concisely, will still try to figure it out. Initially, several four-cylinder engines of varying degrees of forcing, with a volume of 1.8 liters, 156, 184 and 204 horsepower, were supplied to the Ukrainian market. After restyling, the least powerful of them was replaced by a 1.6-liter unit with almost the same output of 154 horsepower. All these engines are united by a common misfortune. In winter, due to underheating on short city runs, gasoline got into the engine oil. If we formulate it smartly, then the fault of the vagaries was a sharp increase in maximum power and an earlier exit to maximum torque. Dealers were engaged in reprogramming the brains, but in general the problem could not be overcome. In gasoline engines with a mechanical CGI compressor, it is worth monitoring the condition of the timing chain. Stretch is already after 100,000 km of run. And only special equipment will help determine the degree of wear. After 2009, the compressor was replaced with a turbocharger, and the problem with the circuit receded. And in general, there are enough weak points here, a generator pulley, a thermostat, an air conditioning compressor clutch, oil leaks, coolant leaks, perhaps, because of all of the above, many people choose a reliable 3-liter gasoline aspirated V6, 231 horsepower, implying all-wheel drive with the advantage of torque distribution in favor of the rear wheels. Later it was changed to a similar 3.5-liter unit. There was also a 170 horsepower 2.2-liter CDI diesel. They also rarely have problems. And in terms of dynamics, both motors are not amiss at all. There was, of course, a 457 horsepower version of the C63 AMG, but this is a separate song, which does not make sense to sing here. Machines with mechanics in our market once or twice and miscalculated. Basically, W204S were delivered in a special series with a 7G Tronic automatic transmission. The box did not win any claims, but the lubrication must be carefully monitored according to the regulations. Often there were oil leaks. Of course, countless other versions with a great variety of diesel engines made their way to us from Europe, but there is no place and time to dwell on them. It is a rarity. The body and the paintwork are beyond competition, it's a sin to find fault. The paint lies firmly, the galvanization works reliably, the bottom holds the impact of the reagents by 5 points. There aren't too many questions about electrical issues. Fogging headlights don't count. Given the abundance of electronics and the complexity of many systems, the overall level deserves an honest 4. One of the common problems is the loss of mass of the rear lights. They first dim, and then go out, but the suspension can be a real hassle. The hottest topic is the front wheel bearings. According to the regulations, they must be constantly regulated, which sounds crazy. Silent blocks of the front levers often fail, they act as consumables. From below, by the way, you can do without complex diagnostic equipment. And so you can hear how it knocks in the steering wheel or crunches when you move the steering wheel to extreme positions. And yet, having examined the car in the right service before buying and preferring, if not the most economical, but reliable version with a 3.0 or 3.5 engine, you will surely be satisfied. The car, no doubt, has some magic and a stock of some kind of family, irresistible for years quality.